Well, here is the schematic diagram of our circuit, the three phase regulator for a motorcycle. In the circuit, six power diode uh, are used for rectification, along with the MOSFET and triple five IC regulation circuit here. A potentiometer connected to the triple five IC can provide a safe charging voltage level for battery. To build the circuit, we first need to convert the schematic to PCB layout. You can design it using a software or use my PCB layout, which I will show you shortly. Stay with me. Let's get start. To build this regulator, we need these components.
I have two type of trivers stato here. One with the 12 poles and other with the 18 poles. This type of stato are used in DC powered motor as well as in fuel injected engines. Their only function is to supply the necessary power for the charging and lighting system. For testing I use usual method using a sample setup. I spin the flywheel with a drill at 2800 rpm to generate the necessary voltage for the regulator. First we need to fix the stator onto board. That's it. And then attach the flywheel to the drill using uh, some bolt and nuts. Perfect. Now I want to measure the output of the stator with a multimeter. For the test of voltage, uh, one of the phases need to be connected ground to give him wire. Take a prop and connect the yellow wire to the green wire, like that. One of prep of the multimeter go to the ground and other side go to the other poles of this data. As you saw, the voltage reaches 30 volts at 2800 rpm. At higher rpm, it can multiply several times more. If the regulator doesn't function properly, it can easily damage your battery and electrical components. Now I'm going uh, to test it with 12 volt lamp. See what happens. As you saw, the bulb change color quickly, and I turn it off before burnout because I still need it for now. Well, the circuit is ready. Let's go for the test. As I mentioned, I tested with using my sample method with the drill. We connect the three phase output of the stator to three input of the reglet yellow wires. And the negative wire also go to the negative of the stator, the green wire, which is ground. And the output of the regulator, red wire, go to the positive of the battery. It's better to have the battery in the circuit to avoid damaging the components. And finally, the negative of the battery also go to the ground of the stator and circuit. That's it. Set the multimeter on DC volt and test it.
negative prop go to the negative and the positive prop go to the positive As you saw, the circuit reached 30.2 volt at 2800 RPM. At around 5000 RPM, it reaches about 40 to 40.5 volts. The components also are cool, but in shunt regulators, it's normal for parts to get warm. This circuit should also be tested at higher RPM in road to confirm its performance. Anyway, this DIA project is now complete. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if you like it and share with friends. Until the next video, goodbye.